Hey, what's up you guys? After Cherry reacts here and today I'm going to be reacting to some more Chuck. This was selected by Gave Up, so thank you so much for your support, Gave Up. This is season 2, episode 18, so let's get into it. I think last episode we said he was going to start his training, so I'm going to assume this is training. Freeze! Drop him! Your mask's off. Do it! A time. Man up, Charles. Why would you do this to me? I'm sorry, man. It was a practice run for when we kidnap Awesome for his bachelor party. You guys aren't even invited! Hey, right. What finer way to be invited than to kidnap the guest of honor? Bachelor party is a mythical place where booze and women are free. It's Xanadu. Oh my god! Okay, I'm going to bed. Bartowski. General, hey, what are you... I wanted a private word with you. Pardon the intrusion. On this moment or my life in general? I'd like to know if your relationship with Agent Walker is compromising your job performance. How do you mean? What does that mean? Has your situation gotten too complicated? With Sarah? No, God, no. No, Sarah Walker is a pleasure to work with, a delight, even. I want facts. I don't care about your feelings. What feelings? These feelings. Sarah, you want to go on a date with me? A real date? Sarah, you're the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. I guess I wouldn't mind some time to sort out my feelings. My job is to make sure you're protected without interloping emotional complications from my team. We're going to have to do a 49B. Okay, if you could just tell me what a 49B is, that would help. Sarah? Sarah, I messed up. General Beckman, she called me, asked me about our relationship, and, and you know that conversation, the one where I might have maybe mentioned that I'm crazy about you? Well, I tried to cover it, but I'm not so sure that she bought it. Yeah. Oh my god, it's Lucifer's mom. What? Where's Sarah? I'm Agent Alex Forrest. General Beckman sent me. I'm your 49B. We're all familiar with the elusive leader of a terrorist group who has been hiding in the Afghani caves for years, Hassan Khalid. I dream of finding him. A member of Khalid's inner circle is this man, Rashad Ahmad. Ahmad is privy to all of Khalid's nefarious plans. While on banking business for Khalid in Los Angeles, a man we believe to be Ahmad had a heart attack. He needs a pacemaker and has checked into a hospital under the pseudonym Harry Lyme. You believe this man to be Ahmad? That is the mission. Intelligence has only been able to obtain grainy satellite images of Ahmad. Mr. Bartowski, using his unique skill set, must infiltrate the hospital to confirm Ahmad's identity. Questions? Sounds straightforward, General. Yeah, I have a question. What exactly is 49B? Mind fielding that one, Agent Walker? Agent Forrest is here to assess my performance, and during the evaluation period, she will assume the role of the assets handler. Thank you. That will be all. What is this all about? I'm sorry, to discuss this further would be a breach of protocol. To discuss this further would be a breach of protocol? Is it possible that someone kidnapped Sarah and replaced her with some kind of soulless replica? Let me guess, you want to talk about your feelings, Bartowski? Please. Wrong. That's what got the 49B involved in the first place. Chuck. Sorry, buddy, we are here to plead our case about Austin awesome Bachelor Party. Uh, you know what, not now, guys, I'm right in the middle of something. The world revolves around the sun, Charles. Not you. Ooh. Astronomy snap. Okay, hold on. It's just that we just, we'd like you to reconsider. Reconsider what? You guys aren't even invited. You tell them or I will. Jeff and I, we've never been to a bachelor party. Never it known anyone surprising. qualified enough to land a woman for life. So please, 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 please. No and no. Okay, how about this? As a plus, since Big Mike has been dating my mother, he's made me lock up. So we can use this place for the party, save a little cash, and guess what? Spend it on lady dancers. Pow. Lady dancers. Pow. Check it. Hey now. Hey now. We're talking serious. The answer's no. Hey, Well, please, don't don't say no. Say you'll wrap your mind around it. That means no. Hey, does the new girl know about the... Uh... No, she won't know that top secret information unless her position becomes permanent. What do you mean permanent? It's not gonna happen. The 49B will come in, make her findings, and be on her way. I didn't mean to get you in trouble at work because I told you my feelings. I didn't know I was being taped that much. No, it's fine, really. I've just been kind of stressed out lately. You know, I promised Ellie that I'd find our dad to walk her down the aisle, but I've tried everything. He's nowhere. It's like he's fallen off the face of the earth. Hey, you got Clarence. You mind running my dad's name to the big castle computer? That's impossible. Damn right. If Agent Walker did that, not only would she be fired, but potentially face charges of misappropriation of government intelligence. Enough personal time. We have work to do. Uh -huh. 
And what were you little kids doing in there? A little hanky panky. <laughs> Who? What? Why? Why would you do that? Relax. I only tranked her. She'll be awake in six to eight hours. Now grab a leg. You're on call today, Dr. Petoskey. Yeah, well, they keep switching my shifts around. <laughs> you. <laughs> you know, that grandma was no threat to us. I don't get why you decided that... I don't decide. Protocol dictates my actions. Chuck? Shh, shh, Your sister is 30 feet northeast of you. <clears throat> Doctor? Yeah? We got your pin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now or never. Tim, are you his doctor? Of course. Am I not wearing a doctor's coat? Who else would I be if not for one of this man's doctors? Doctor, I am Harry Lyme's private physician. Dr. Mohammed Zamir. Ah, doctor. 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 And doctor. Nurse, would you excuse us for a moment, please? I'd like to consult the doctor privately, please. Yes, we will be discussing doctor things that only doctors understand. Please go. Please don't go. <clears throat> be right outside. Doctor. Why is she wearing a different outfit than... Major, what's your 20? In position. Identification affirmative. Roger that. Proceed. Hey, you! Yeah? Hysterectomy in 806 didn't make it to the toilet. You mind? You got it. Well, heart sounds appear to be normal for a patient with this type of atypical cardiocardiac condition. You should know that this patient is a very important man. Well, I, I took an oath to treat my first patient the same kind of care as every subsequent patient. It's a very dangerous job to be the surgeon of a very important man. You understand my meaning, doctor? I'll do the best job that I know how to do. Your life depends on it. If I have to eat an apple a day to keep that doctor away, then bring on the fresh fruit. Hey, the security system's been updated. I'll either need 40 minutes to decrypt the code or four ounces of C4. Maybe you could just take out some doctor and steal his card key. I like the cut of your jib. Wow, you two are a match made in a very frightening part of heaven. Now all we'll need is some idiot doctor with a key card to get us into the restricted area. No way, no, no way, absolutely not. Not awesome. Oh, you guys are awesome. To the bachelor! Listen to me, guys. What happens in the Bymore stays in the Bymore. Oh, right. Yes. No, I, I got it. I'm, I'm sorry. Ba bachelor party virgin. Huh? Lock it down. Okay. Okay. Uh, happy bachelor party there, Captain. Thanks for your help throwing it, General Beckman. <laughs> Nothing gets by me. Based on my observations, Agent Walker is far too emotionally entwined with the asset. Her decisions weren't made with respect to established protocol. She always places the subject's feelings above orders. Is that your final assessment, Agent Forrest? It is. Agent Walker. Thank you for your dedication to this mission. General, please, I... But as of right now, your services are officially terminated. Report back to Langley at 0900. Happy bachelor party, my friend. We got you half a dozen $5 foot longs from Subway. That's six feet of meat. Five, I ate a foot. Is the matter with you? Thanks, boys. It's gonna be quite a tasty event. You see, this is what I'm talking about. He's gonna be so drunk when you steal his card key, he won't even notice. No drinking necessary. How are we gonna distract him? Oh, I'm one step ahead of you, my friend. I had Jeff hire some exotic female entertainment. Alicia's sandwiches are fresh. Wait, Jeffrey, isn't that your sister? She gave us a deal. Hello? Hey, babe, it's me. They're chucking boys kidnapped me from my bachelor party. Wow, lucky you. I am lucky no one was waiting for me at home. Hey, great party. <laughs> That's very charming for a man who's so close Damn. to temptation. How can I be tempted by a hamburger when I have steak at home? Seriously, babe, I love you. All right, you've sucked up enough. I trust you. Have fun. Thanks, honey. Got one Combs wallet. Came up empty. No card key. 
Must still be around his neck. I have to get another way. Don't worry. I've got a backup plan. Listen, I know the guys probably put you up to this, but we really don't have to be alone in here. We just... Oh, my. Wait, wait, wait. Why don't you just take this off? That way, nothing's going to come between us. I, I can't. I lose it, and I, uh, I get fired. Mm. Uh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. Stop. I love my fiance. I would never do anything to jeopardize that. I guess romance is alive and well and living in Burbank. No, no, no! I said no drinking! That is not no drinking! Keep your sleeping! Good work. Now I can access the restricted area and plant the bug for a mod surgery. Try and sell it for the friends. Whoa, 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 have I no rights? You can't just go around willy-nilly knocking out my family members. Looks like we can. Sarah never would have done this. You've gone too far. Back off, Bartowski. What are you going to do about it? I'm calling General, that's what. Is that so? No one's calling anyone. Listen, this 49B stuff is over. From now on, the only person I work with is Sarah. Walker's gone. She's been dismissed. What are you talking about? I'm your new handler. No. With the use of Dr. Woodcomb's card key, Major Casey entered the hospital's restricted area and planted the GLG-4000 on a mod's pacemaker. General Beckman. One moment, Mr. Bartowski. Turn up the volume. That is the sound of success. General. Soon, Ahmad and his men will be on their way back to Khalid's Afghani hideout, and we can begin our covert surveillance in earnest. General, look, I understand that this is an important mission. I do, but what about Sarah? How can she be gone just like that? The way it is, Bartowski. No, wh why didn't you tell me that this could happen with the 49B? I was under the impression that Agent Forbes was here just to evaluate Sarah. You lied to me. Good job, Chuck. No, for you it's a job. For me, it's my life. We disclosed everything that was pertinent to you. That's the way the National Security Agency operates. Get used to it. I'm going to die. I would love to feel sorry for you, honey, but I think you kind of brought this one on yourself. I get so wasted. I don't remember a thing. Well, you drank a little bit. You cut loose. No harm done. I remember our lovely neighbor, John Casey, carrying you home at four in the morning smelling like booze and cheap hairspray. Does that ring a bell for you? Honey, honey, please don't even say the word bell. Honey, did I have my key card on me last night? What? Did you take my key card off me or not? No, I didn't take your key card off. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Oh, God. It's always around your neck, under your shirt. Why did your shirt come off? Uh, <laughs> Do you want to tell me if your pants stayed on? Ellie, please, will you just help me look for the key card? Guys, guys, it'll turn up. I just know it. Yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry that you don't remember what happened last night. I hope whatever it was, it was worth it. Dude, I wish I had a do-over for last night. I'm going to take it all back. This is not awesome. Very not awesome. Hi, I'm Dr. Woodcomb. Get Government issue. Oh my god, it smells like heaven. Okay, that means either someone's baking sugar cookies or that is... Morgan. That we I need to ask you a favor. Anything. Anything you can have my firstborn. <sighs> I need to know what happened last night at Devin's bachelor party. Come on, you can't ask me that. There's a bro code. Please, Morgan. I'm sorry, I can't. I have to lock it down. I just, that's what I... Oh, listen to me, I... Can you believe our first bachelor party was so freaking awesome? How did they get pitches? Wait, 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 wait. I'm wait, Ellie. very Ellie. confused. Ellie. How did they get Ellie. pictures of that? Ellie, Ellie, Elizabeth, Eleanor, Elton. I'm like, if they got pictures of that, they would have got pictures of what? That makes no sense. Nothing. Me neither. Casey, I can't get in. I, I, I don't have access. She's off the assignment. Look, I think Chuck's in trouble. He never goes anywhere without his phone. She's right. Now, Forrest, I was going to say earlier, I disagree with your assessment. About what? Walker. She's a pro. Not only that, she's the best damn partner I ever had. That's so nice. 
I found this when I went to say goodbye to Chuck. Which directly disobeyed an order. You were fired for exactly this reason. Then there's nothing stopping me from kicking your ass. Chuck's in the courtyard. He's fine. Have you checked the cameras lately? We lost a surveillance signal from Ahmad's See, this just Gotta shows her care for him. him I don't is understand. Isn't the GLG 4000 specifically designed to track deep inside the Afghani caves? Yeah. You'd need at least six feet of solid steel to block that signal. This is the last location his heart registered before going off grid. Overlay the satellite image. Wait a minute. They're in a bank vault. Yeah, that would do it. Good work, Walker. Okay, Dr. Welcome. Time for you to remove the bug you placed inside my friend. If you don't save him, nothing can save you. I'm a little out of practice, honestly. Maybe if you could do it. Cut him open. Or I'll cut you open. Oh. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. I'm bleeding. Oh, my God. I'm bleeding. Oh, my God. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. I'm, bleeding. I'm, bleeding. I'm sorry. I just get a little woozy at the sight of blood. A surgeon who's afraid of blood. I know. A little ironic, right? <laughs> Chuck. Chuck, Chuck, no clue. I have no clue. I'm Dr. I am Dr. Woodcomb, okay? Oh, yeah? or, or Devin, or Doc. Sometimes people call me Captain Awesome, but I have no idea who this, who this Chuck is. Oh, you mean that Chuck? You're a dead man, Chuck. Now Chuck is locked inside with one of Interpol's most wanted. It is your job to protect him, damn it. No! Yeah! I've got nitroglycerin and a blasting cap in the van. I'll have this door off in no time. Hold on. I think I saw a nitrous set up in there. You're gonna blast the door open and you're gonna kill Chuck in the process. Come on! What makes you think he's not already dead? Come here! But so is so is my man Zamir here. But I'm not coming out until you find Sarah and you bring her back here. Stand your ground. Like Hassan Khalid. Hey, where is that guy? Anyway, because I haven't seen him around in a while. He's in the eastern Gurukuram caves. Smart? All right. Yeah. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> Bad dude, huh? Hey. Chuck, turn off the gas, idiot. You inhale too much of that stuff, it'll kill you. We're gonna die. You're <laughs> gonna die! Open this door right now. No, look, I'm not listening to you, okay? This isn't working. I can't risk this going any further. I'm getting the nitro. First, we can do this your way, or we can actually save the asset. <laughs> Is it really you, or am I super stoned? Uh, both. <laughs> Thank you, Agent Forrest. Just doing my job, General. You did nothing. Agent Walker, despite your heroism, you have directly disobeyed several orders. Wait, yeah? General, um, I'm sorry, but, but isn't the most important part of being my handler making sure that I stay alive? It's okay, Chuck. No, it's not. Oh. Let him finish. Thanks. General, what I'm trying to say is that I, I think that maybe big because softy. my relationship with Sarah is so, you know, we're we're close. We care about each other. That's that's what I'm trying to say. And and I know it's not protocol or whatever, but it's those feelings that wound up saving my life. Agent Forrest diagnosed your emotional connection as a liability, but I suppose it can also be an asset to the well, asset. 
You may resume your post, Agent Walker. We hope not to see you too soon, Agent Forrest. That's all. Sarah, please, I am freaking out, okay? I don't know who else to talk to, but I also don't want to get you in more trouble at work. It's okay. This is my private residence. There is no surveillance. You can talk to me. I don't know what to do. Ever since you guys rolled into town, my life has been has been spinning out of control. My whole world is about juggling lies. It's like this. I bet this is, uh, what, a submachine gun? No, it dries my hair. Okay, fine, but everything else is completely screwed up. I just want to be able to tell Ellie the truth about who I am and what I do. I can't believe how much the United States government has hurt the people that I love. Well, maybe it's time for the United States government to help you. Chuck, you saved my life, man. Thanks for finding my key card. Dude, Special Agent Carmichael. Well, you uh, probably had to break a few rules, huh? Come on, knock. I couldn't find him. The man didn't want to be found. I mean, you had to illegally access the government's master database to... Chuck, it'll be good to see him. Yeah, you don't know why. I don't know why he's been gone this whole time. Some closure would be nice. Dad. Hey, what's up, you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content like this very edit for example uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself I have a patreon that if you pledge to you're helping support the channel and in return you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below, and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, left on a cliffhanger. Um, you know what? I think the highlight of this episode was Casey sticking up for both Chuck and for um, Sarah. I thought that was great. Probably my favourite part of the whole episode. Um, yeah, so Awesome may or may not have a chance here to catch on, I don't know. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.